In its first decade, Litchfield needed a good newspaper. A Minneapolis columnist called it the finishing touch in the material no less than the artistic development of the village. In 1872, Frank Daggett stepped up to the challenge and began the Litchfield Ledger newspaper. Daggett enlisted in the Union Army during the Civil War, rising in the ranks to serve as an officer in the 117th Regiment, United States Colored Infantry. After the war, he returned home to run the Wabashaw Herald newspaper. But prospects look good in the new town of Litchfield. A writer in the Minneapolis Journal drolly remarked, The 642 pounds of oleogenous humanity, known to most as Frank Daggett, bought for the sum of $35, legal greenbacks of the realm, a ramage press of the style of a century ago, and his journalistic friends throughout the state contributed a few pounds of type each and thus established him in business. The result of this has been the birth of the Litchfield Ledger, a spicy, rattle-brained, wide-awake, independent, witty local newspaper. Frank, long may you live in Litchfield. Daggett, however, would not live long, passing away at age 38 in 1877. Henry Peterson, the publisher and editor of the Litchfield Independent, however, spent a long life in the newspaper business. He started out at age 15 as an apprentice at the Meeker County News. In 1876, he began the Independent, where he remained for more than 60 years. One out-of-town newspaper editor said, H.I. Peterson is a good newspaper man, a pungent writer, and the paper under his management is deservedly popular. What the paper didn't have was a home. The news ledger humorously observed, why is the independent office not unlike the leopard? Because it is continually changing its spots. Finally, in 1909, Peterson moved into this building, erected by Alex Cairncross in 1886. Now, more than a century later, it is still publishing from this spot, the oldest continuing downtown business.